Hi everyone. So today is day 17 uh, of our 150 NEET code DSA question series. So today is our the question that we're going to solve is our 17th day problem. And I hope that you guys are maintaining the consistency. You are solving the problem daily. And those who are having time, they can solve more problems. It's not you, you have to only solve one problem daily. If you are having the time, you can obviously solve some other problems as well. That will definitely help if you are having the time. If you are a college student, then definitely you should go for this name. But, but, but at least solving one problem is important. Because, because we have to develop that, you know, habit of, problem solving today is day 17 and we have to do it consistently till day 21 because it, it has been said no that we can we can possess any habit in 21 days so let's let's do it 21 let's do it with consistency till 21 days and post that i believe that you will yourself start doing the problems you don't need that push that you know you do the problems do the problems like that yeah, so we'll be going through the problem statement before that. If you're new to this channel, you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such videos for you. And you can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. So yeah, let's get started. The problem says you are given a string S and an integer K. You can choose any character of the string and change it to any other uppercase English character. You can perform this operation at most K times. Return the length of the longest substring containing the same letter you can get after performing the above operation. So we have been given a string S and an integer K. So they are saying that the string that, that has been given to you, you know, right? So you can choose any character of that string and you can change it to any other character. Now, how many times you can perform this operation? At most K times. At most means what? That either equal to k or less than that so let's say if k is 2 so you can do this operation two times one time or zero times okay so what you have to do is you have to return the length of the longest substring containing the same letter same letter should be there in that particular substring so you have to return the longest substring containing the same letter you can get post performing this operation right so statement is clear let's let's get more understanding by uh, going through the examples so first example is a string given to us is a b a b and k equal to 2. so here you can see a has occurred twice b has also occurred twice so we can either do that we are um replacing these see we have two k's with us right it means we can convert two uh, two uh, characters of our give, given string into some other character right so what we can do is that if we are going to we are going to convert this two a's with two b's so b b b b b four b's in the sequence four b this substring will give us the length four and again you can just convert this b also into a so a a a a four a's we'll be having so replace the two a's with two b's or vice versa in both the cases you are going to get four so that is the possible longest substring for this particular example right Moving to the next example, so here S has been given to us A, A, B, A, B, B, A, K equal to 1, right? So if if uh, we are talking about, let's say, this substring, so what could be done? That three A's are already there. Three A's are there, just this B only if we replace with A, right? So we'll be having four A's, right? Or uh, you can take this window also, B, A, B, B, B. B A B B B A B B. So here three Bs are already there, and if we if we you know convert this capital A into capital B, four Bs will be having so four four in both the cases. So yeah, for this particular for this particular string, four will be the longest substring that is satisfying the given condition, given scenario. So here you can see that they have explained the same. So replace the one A in the middle with B, and form A A of four times B A. The substring b b b b b has the longest repeating letters, which is four. There may exist other ways also to achieve this answer too. So it's not the only objective is just to get the longest substring length. It's up to you which character you are going to change or all those things, right? So I hope the problem statement is clear. That does make sense, right? So now comes to the part like how we'll be solving this problem. What would be the approach to solve this problem? One approach or the brute force approach that you can think of is that let's make all the possible substrings. What do I mean by this? That all possible substrings. So 
will be considering all the potential initial points from where a substring can start so first would be a will be considering all the substring that will be starting from a then from this a then from this b then from this a then from this b will be considering all of them and and will be checking that okay which substring is going to provide us the longest substring which containing the same letter repeated letter right so that is the one way that you can think of right and see we have to make sure we have to make sure that the number of operations to the conversion that should be under this k only this because this k only is allowed if you know if directly i'm just uh, you know taking you through the code so what could be your brute force approach is here that that see first we have the length of our string stored here max length obviously we'll be having the maximum length that we have to return in the end so as i'm saying that we'll be making all the possible substring so we have started our loop from start equal to 0 till length of the string star plus plus and and is initialized with a start so this string builder i'm we do have in java so i have taken it so that you know because a string is immutable in java so every time a new string would be created so till the time end is less than n because see this outer loop is responsible for considering all the initial points and this inner loop and less than n this is responsible for to make the further substring right first a then a a then a a b then a a b a then a a b a b like that you must be getting my point right so first i have appended the first corrector that i have seen so end is zero as of now right so first is a so now we have to check if this is valid or not now what what this valid method is actually doing here so this is our method is valid where we are providing the current substring that has been formed and the value of k so now what this method is doing is that's the actual logic that's the actual crux of this question i should say so here this method is doing what first of all see when i was explaining you must be getting that that whole thing is about getting the longest substring and how we can achieve the same if we are you know considering the element or the character which is having the highest frequency because in that scenario for example here if you will see in this particular window three has occurred thrice so just one b we will convert so we will get four a like that right so or or you can further extend it let's say i mean you must be getting my point right so what we are doing here is in this is valid so we have maintained an array of size 26 because here if you will see here if you, if you will see they have clearly specified that s consists of only uppercase english characters right maximum frequency uh, we are maintaining to get the letter to get the letter which is having the maximum frequency uh, for a given substring right so we are just going through we are iterating the substring that we have got in this method and uh this all this you must be already knowing because we have solved the previous problems that how we are you know maintaining this frequency so what we are doing is that whatever the character is let's say the character is as of now it is a only so a minus a is going to give us zero so at zero the index zero the index is what mapped to character a we are doing plus plus means we have seen one a right so we are we are marking that frequency that that you know that seen wala thing ki, we have already seen it already one a we have seen do it plus plus so that's what we are doing doing here and max frequency is responsible to maintain the maximum frequency character that we have seen till now so by now uh, only one character a we have seen so what is maximum from here we will get here we will get what one c the current what we are doing here is that whatever the current character you have seen if it's if its frequency is maximum or the frequency that is already stored in max so as of now in max frequency we are not, we are not having anything we are having zero so zero and one what is maximum one is maximum right so one will be stored in max frequency right and at the end what we are returning is that see we have to be in limit we have to be in limit right so we are checking so let's say we have to be in this limit only that we can convert whatever conversion do you are doing that should be in range k only let's say let's say we are having a b b a b b right or let's say 
मैक्सिम फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट यू हैव सी If it should be less than equal to k, it should be less than equal to k. So, for example, if let's say the our current substring is A A B, I'm just I'm just trying to explain. I mean, A A B we have. So, in this particular substring, the maximum frequency is going to be what? Two only because C, uh, the character which has occurred the most in this substring is A, which has occurred twice. So, twice. And what is the length of this substring? Three. So, three minus one, we are going to get two. we are going to get 2 so 2 is less than equal to 2 is less than equal to sorry 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 uh, substring length is 3 and occurred what is 2 so 3 minus 2 less than equal to and let's say k value is k value is k value is um 1 one. one let's say let's say the k value is 1 so 1 less than equal to 1 it means the condition is satisfied means what that obviously if k is 1 so we can we can We we are considering in this way that yeah we have converted this a to b and a a a we have got so the maximum length that we have got till now is three so that's what we are updating here if if it is valid if it is valid we are in the limit we are in the limit we are actually executing or we are actually consuming the same number of k's that has been given to us because we cannot use more than that what has been assigned right so what we are doing we we are updating the max length here. so whatever the maximum length it was before or uh, the current substring length so whatever is maximum we are we are taking that for example let's say let's say we have this is the complete substring as of now we are having just to get you more understanding right just to in case you are not able to get it so if this is our substring right so here uh, the maximum 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 what which character has occurred a has occurred i guess 1 2 3 4 and b is equal size only no 1 2 3 4 yeah so 4 and what is the length of the substring so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 4 7 4 7 4 is what 3 3 3 and the k value is what 1 3 less than equal to 1 the condition is not satisfied right so this is not a valid substring because because here only 1 k you can consume you cannot consume uh, i mean in that scenario you if you want you 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 can, this is this won't be a valid one right because only one k you can use to convert one one character to some other character one upper case character to some other upper case character you must be getting my point if in case if in case k was 3 it means it means what k was 3 it means we can convert this also as a this also as a this also as a So in that case, it could be it would be a valid one if k was three. So in that case, what what should be the output? If that was the scenario, the output should be seven, right? So you must be you must be getting my point. Like how we are actually determining the is valid substring, and what is the actual need of keeping this condition here, right? So this is one of the possible way, or I can say the brute force way to solve this particular problem, right? But again, comes the same question that that uh. instead of you know maintaining or you know uh, checking for every possible substring can't we just take two pointers i and j and you know maintaining that window in a specific window again we'll be using the same um, frequency counter array for us that the maximum frequency character that we have seen till now and doing the sort of updation can't we use sliding window approach here we can yes we can right so this is the first approach let me know what would be the time complexity for this particular approach in the comment section what is the time complexity of brute force approach let me know in the comment section right so as said that we can so obviously optimize this particular solution that we have discussed so yep let's 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 just see let's see what what exactly now we have done in our sliding window approach so result uh, is going to have our maximum length the longest length that we are going to return at the end right maximum here is responsible for having the count of the character which has occurred maximum times the frequency count 
right and this is our frequency array if talking about space complexity see we are using this frequency array here but the size is constant 26 only so we can say the constant size only we are taking so space complexity will be big of one now i and j two pointers we do have so till the time j value is less than that of length of the string so we are we have updated the frequency of a the current character that we have seen and now here we are same thing we are doing no? we are just we are just updating we are just taking care in our max the maximum character uh, the frequency of the character that we have seen maximum times let me let me say in this way right now again when this scenario has occurred let's say let's say when we have crossed that limit for example let's say we have we have we have come here then this one then this one we have considered right and then we have considered this one okay 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 see if they are in this particular window all a's were there all a's were there so what this condition we are checking all a's were there it means still now we haven't utilized our k equal to one operation because all same characters are there so that's what we are doing here j is what j would be what in abhi as of now if if i am taking this window so j would be at 0 1 2 3 third index right j would be a third index and i will remain as it is as of now in the starting point only so j is what 3 3 minus 0 plus 1 4 and as of now i'm thinking that this b this b is not here there is a so maximum frequency character is a which has occurred four times so 4 minus 4 we will get 0 0 is greater than one no right but current scenario is what there is one b one b it, and in actual three has occurred only thrice so three minus zero plus one will give us four the window size window size is four this j minus i plus one basically is giving us window size four minus max frequency of a is what three so four minus we will get one one greater than one one greater than one right the condition is true means we have utilized that operation utilized that operation now we we have to shift our window further further we have to shift our window means the character that you have seen first now remove it remove it because you are you have used that operation now the window has to be shifted so what we are doing here is that the character that is there at ith position in the starting position remove it hatao hatao windows hatao so uh, s dot caret i minus a minus minus so we are removing that key that frequency we have removed this is not now this is not now part of my window and we are implementing the value of i so to to further you know move to further shift our window right see as of now i'm explaining but just don't expect that just by watching the video you will get all of it no you won't you got the idea take a copy pen do a dry run to get a better understanding and then do the implementation right so here now again you can see we we are we are keep on maintaining with every window that we are getting we are maintaining the maximum the maximum length that we have seen so this is the window size this is the this actually gives us the window size so j minus i plus one or res which which is already this so whatever is maximum keep this in res right and at the end return res right so yeah these were the two approaches to solve this particular problem now if talking about the time complexity of this optimized approach so that is we go off and because only once we have gone through the string right so yeah uh that's it for today's problem i hope you were able to understand i hope you have solved the problem thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye keep learning keep coding see you tomorrow with the next problem